It's Casino City's coverage of the 2008 World Series of Poker. Here's our interview with fifth place finisher Scott Montgomery. Okay, no. I guess that's what you call an epic beat. You would think so, but I saw it coming. I mean, I actually said, oh, so the six of diamonds is the only one left, so I gotta have to catch a diamond on the turn. So when the six of diamonds comes on the river, he won't beat me, but I didn't catch the diamond on the turn, so when the six did come on the river, I lost. Right. I mean, I was behind when I put the money in, so I don't consider that a suck out. I mean, that's it. Are you getting tired? No. Really? I mean, I was getting more relaxed. I was pretty nervous at the start of the day, but no. The farther we got into it, the, the more relaxed and more into it I was feeling, so. It's feeling good, no, I wasn't tired. How do you feel like you played today? I mean, I told myself to play tight, play against my image, and I did, I played tight except for one big bluff, and that one big bluff got immediately called, which means I probably shouldn't have done any, any big bluffs, just playing tight all day probably would have been a little smarter, but, no. Uh. Is there anything about the way this final table played out that really surprised you? Uh, I was surprised at how aggressive Elon was at the start. I mean, I had him pegged as one of the more tight players, so when he goes out blasting those first couple of hands, taking like eight million off me, I was a little surprised. You, you adjust to it. How'd you feel about the 117 days off? Did, you think that, did that help you? Did you consider a disadvantage or somewhere in between? Or? Nah, I mean, I wasn't a fan of it. It just gives you a lot of time to build up nerves and makes it a lot more stressful going into the final table. You would have preferred to go straight through then. Uh, oh yeah, for it. sure. Are you glad you don't have the tattoo to winning hand on yourself now? As you promised you would if you won? Um, I would have preferred winning. I'll take a tattoo and $9 million over not having $9 million. <laughs> what did you do that best helped prepare you for the final table? A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing? A whole lot of nothing. I did very little preparation. Probably bad on my part, but whatever. You have plans for the money? Uh, I don't know, I'll have to think about it. It wasn't quite as much money as I was hoping to have. Who's the toughest guy of the players remaining? Um, I mean, going into the final table, I thought Peter and Ivan were the best players. So since they both left and Ivan has so many chips, it's, it's definitely got to be one of those two at the end. You mentioned that uh, the delay lets you build up nerves and stress. Was that at all on back to I mean, yeah, I was really nervous for the first couple hours. So, it, I mean, I don't, I didn't notice it affecting my play because I was planning on playing tight anyway. So the fact that I did play tight, like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I would have played some hands differently, but I mean. I didn't, I didn't mind any play I made during the first three quarters of the day. <laughs> we thought ahead to what's next for you in the world of poker? I'll just keep playing. Yeah. Nothing will change. Probably take a month or two off to, re to relax and back on the circuit for once the new year starts. All right, thanks, Scott. Thank you.